We talk a lot about the biases that might be built into generative AI. But what about biases that we bring to the keyboard when we use these systems? Are our biases causing us not to use AI to its full potential? Are we like little children who do not want to be told what to do, even if the AI or machine learning algorithm has produced a better result than we could? A recent study of how radiologists approached AI provided some insights. Hi, I'm Prof. C., and I talk about generative AI and its impact on education, business, jobs, society. And today I want to talk about how our human behaviors might change how AI is applied in some fields. In a National Bureau of Economic Research discussion paper, four researchers ran an experiment with over 180 radiologists to see if giving them an AI tool to help them diagnose chest x-rays improve their accuracy. You would think that the AI might be able to help since it was better than two-thirds of all radiologists. This is from a previous study. But surprisingly, the AI did not improve performance on average in the study. These results happened because the radiologists exhibited systematic biases in using the AI information. The researchers in this paper identified two main problems. First, most radiologists underweight the AI prediction compared to their own opinions. Researchers call this automation neglect. There are a few key reasons why automation neglect occurs. People tend to overweight and overtrust their own opinions relative to external inputs. This egocentric bias makes them reluctant to change their mind based on algorithmic suggestions. Algorithms are generally viewed as less trustworthy than human predictions, likely because we don't really understand how they work, and we view a lot of these systems as kind of a black box that a number just comes out of it. Second, radiologists ignored that their diagnosis was often correlated with the AI's predictions. They incorrectly acted like the two predictions were independent of one another. The signal dependence neglect made things even worse. Now, because of these biases, the radiologists didn't achieve the potential benefits of combining their human expertise with the AI's capabilities. The researchers in this paper conclude that the best system is to choose to either have an AI do the diagnosis or have the humans do the diagnosis, but rarely to have them work together. That is a very, very disappointing outcome. Now, this study is an excellent reminder that humans have predictable biases when using algorithms. So we need to be aware of these when designing human AI collaboration systems in medicine and other professions. Certainly, these hybrid systems work well when you're doing something like playing chess, but they might not work in a work environment. Now, while the researchers didn't address the topic of autonomous vehicles, I suspect that a version of automation neglect is also why we may not ever have autonomous cars, at least not in my lifetime. Because no matter what the statistics, we trust our driving more than a computer's driving. Now, AAA released a study showing that 8 of 10 men think they're above average drivers. However, 90% of accidents are caused by human error, and we know that that statistic that 80% of people are above average simply doesn't fit statistically. So I think that's one of the reasons that we may see this reluctance to use a car that is going to drive us around because we don't know how that works exactly. It's not trusted and we're going to discount the opinions or the performance of that algorithm in driving us around compared to the performance that we're comfortable with. Now, there's lots of other issues that could play into here, but the researchers didn't address them, and I'm not going to speculate. But I think we're going to see more and more studies like this as we start to see AI being rolled out and may find that uh, it doesn't work so well to have humans using these AI tools. Now, what do you think? Uh, would you trust the diagnosis of an AI over your good old radiologist? Would you get in an autonomous vehicle uh, and allow the algorithm to actually drive you around? Or are you going to have some automation neglect as well?
Once again, if you've made it to the end of one of my videos, you are an elite crowd and you should certainly subscribe.